In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Instagram feed in Canva. If creating your Instagram feed becomes a nightmare and it feels like you have to use many applications, you're missing the advantage of using the simplicity of Canva to create and plan your Instagram feed. So here is where I will show you. First of all, how to create a complete Instagram feed in Canva. Then, how to preview posts and reels for the perfect feed. And finally, how to use Canva as a content manager. Stay until the end so you can learn how to create your perfect feed for Instagram in the easiest way. So let's get started. Step number one, how to create a complete Instagram feed in Canva. So for this, we're gonna go to the home page of Canva and then we're gonna click in create a new design. On here, we're gonna search for Instagram story. And here, so as you can see here, Canva is giving us two options, the story and the video. We're just gonna click on the story because we're gonna make our template on here. So if you want to make it from scratch, what you can do is you can start to add all the frames to make it look like we're in the Instagram feed. So you can just be adding on here. Then one, two, three, we just want, we got it. So now if we want to duplicate them, we're just gonna click over them and then we're just gonna make duplicate so we have the second and then the third one. So what I want to do here is not only the grid feed of Instagram, only only the pictures. I also want to see how it's gonna look uh, when I start to plan my highlights, my Instagram profile picture, so everything. So there we go, we have the Instagram picture, we have the highlights, the stories, and we do have also the grid. So on here, what you can do is you can just go and ask add some text smile i don't know like you can just add on here what is the name of your instagram and then there we go if you want to make it look more detailed you can add some uh, icons to make it look more like instagram so it looks a bit more professional if you're going to send it for a client so i already do have a template for this so i already have this one in here so as you can see you can get more like a a visual idea of instagram but this is also good you can also keep it like this i'm gonna leave this template in the description so you can get it as well so there we go i'm just gonna be working with this one so now we're gonna start with step number two how to preview posts and reels for the perfect feed so here we're gonna start with the feed creation so first of all what i do is i start by looking which feed type i want it to to look like so which colors I'm going to be adding on my on my feed type. So I have this one. It's all the, everything on here. I'm going to leave it in the in the description. So here we got it. So from here, I'm going to be choosing one of these these colors. You can see it's a checkboard, crossfade, grading. These ones are not the only ones, but this is the ones that I like to work more with. So I'm just going to be duplicating this. I'm going to delete these ones on here. And then I'm just going to duplicate here and I'm gonna make it bigger so there we go now we got it so if I'm gonna look on here I'm even gonna be like okay the first one it has to be dark blue okay so I already have my my post on here but I just want you to know that we also you also can do all the posts in this same template and I'm gonna make one uh, one example of a uh, Instagram picture and then also of uh, Instagram Reel, the cover of our Instagram Reel with this one, same also. And also I'm going to be adding the same for Instagram highlight. So on here I'm going to make my post. So I'm just going to go on here, I'm going to make right smile. And then we're going to look for a picture maybe something like this and then here I do have the video remover if you don't have this because I think it's a Canva Pro you can also go to background remover in Google and it's also gonna make the job so don't worry on here we're just gonna make this one I like it like this and then we're gonna be adding some text so text there we go then we're gonna make smile the bright brilliant smile there we go, and I'm just gonna change it with the 
font that I want it to be. So like there we go. And I also gonna change the colors, right? So on here I want it to be like this, these colors. And on here I wanted to get a bit more, you know, like it's following the shape of her. So I'm just gonna be in effects and I'm gonna keep a little bit more of shape on it. So there we go. Can you just like I'm getting to it? Okay. Now I do like that. So this is my first post. You're gonna be wondering, yeah, I do have this post, but how do I get it into the real Instagram post side? We're gonna do that later on. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so don't worry. We don't have this whole white stuff in the background. Like I already have this one, right? So I'm just gonna take a screenshot. And there we go. So here, I can see already how it's gonna look on here. So there we go. We have the screenshot. It's, it's gonna look like this on Instagram. So you can already can so you can already see how it's looking. And then we're gonna make the same for the for the Instagram. You can see we have that this. We're gonna take a screenshot also to see how it's gonna look. So this is this is gonna be the cover of our reel. So here we had it. So now we're gonna go position on here. And I also want to know how to put my highlights, my stories. So we're also going to do that to see how we're going to be editing that. So we're going to we're gonna be adding a circle on here. There we go. So I just do this because it's easy for me to don't have a bunch of, maybe not application because you do the same, the, everything on camera, but don't, just don't have it like, Here's some posts, here's some reels, here's some everything. So just have everything in once so I can see what, I'm, what I already have done and what I want to change, what I don't want to change. Also with the client, if you want some changes, so I just can do it through here and then just, um, I will show you how, but yeah, just have everything on here and it makes it easy for me. So maybe it can also work for you. So Instagram highlights. So we're gonna make about me. So on here, we got it. On here and we do the same screenshot and we adjust it in the template so there we go you can see you're making everything in here and then you're just gonna be adding a uh, everything in the in the frames you can see it's like it's it's square but it's gonna because of the frames it's gonna take the the shape that we want to so here we're just gonna make it maybe a little bit bigger and there we go there is it so we have that one and then we're just going to be uh, organizing what we want to do or how we want it to look. So I do have this one. Maybe I want, uh, which one? Maybe I do want this one. And then on here, I want this one. And then maybe another image on here. So then I can play with this. Then my reel. Then I post on here my last reel on here and other image on here so you see there we go that is how i'm going to be playing with my feet so now we're going to be adding my tips my frequency questions here we got this i want it to be bigger there we go and my reminders as well so here we do have and I don't know my profile picture. I want it to be that one. All right. So I already like this one, and I already have everything on here. Let's imagine. And <laughs> here, okay, I do have this post. How I make it to get the sizing of Instagram post? For that, we're gonna go to the Canva home on here, and we're gonna make create new design. On here, we're gonna make Canva post square. So on here, we're just gonna click on projects. And then here, we're just gonna go to the one that we were working on. So as you can see here, I, I pull it up. I pull it from here, from the one that I'm working on now. And I pull it to the same sizing of here because this is the real sizing of the Instagram post. So I'm just gonna be putting the same thing in the corner and then pull it, pull it, pull it till it gets to the shape that I want to. Okay, I like it like this. 
So in here we got already our post in the Instagram sizing. We pull it from here. We didn't have to create it again. So we already, we just pull it and then here it is. And then for the reel is exactly the same. We're just gonna go here. We're gonna go and type reel, reel, Instagram reel here. You see, it's the video one. So we need the video one and the same. We're just gonna pull it from our here. So there we go. This is the one that I want, which is gonna change the background. We need it in wait, this color. So we're just gonna take the color on here. There we go. On here, you can leave it like that. We just delete it. And then the same we're gonna do on here. We're just gonna pull it for it to get the shape that we want to. So I, this, I want this. There we go. Maybe, maybe I can I can still play with this, but I wouldn't move it that much because then it's not gonna look like we we put it on on the on the feet on here. So we you see you can see some parts of it. So just leave it like like it is. So like this. Just pull it a bit more, and then we can still add whatever we want for a reel. So we can still add some other templates. And there we go. So then it the reel, the cover of the reel, but it's already uh, fitting on our feet. So there we go. And the same is for the uh, highlights. For the stories, we're gonna go to logo in here. And then we're gonna do the same. We're gonna pull up, pull it up from here and then here. And then you got it over there. Maybe make it a bit bigger if you want to. And the same, so you just get this one and then you just pull it up and you got everything in the real sizing that it needs to be for fit on Instagram perfectly, but keeping the same fit that we already make on here. Now we are done with our fit and also we are done with the pose and the reels. The only thing left is to make a pose on day and time that our strategy says. And I know in many cases that becomes a nightmare. And in case you don't want to use more applications or just to be worried about publishing manually all the time, Canva Pro has a function to get you out of those problems. And that's what I'm going to show you in the following step. Step number three, how to use Canva as a content manager. So to make this, there are three simple steps, right? So we're going to go to share. We're going to click on it here. And as you can see here, it's already showing us the option to schedule. So I'm just going to go click on it and here you can see it's gonna give you the chance to choose between the days that you want to put it on so we were in February but you have March and then it keeps going so let's see I'm gonna put it for March 8th and here also we have to choose the the hour that we want to the hour that we want to schedule it for so let's see maybe 6 30 right so in here we can see we can move the minutes so on here we had it we have a.m. no p.m. so 6 30 p.m. there we go then we're gonna go to next and on here you can see it's already letting you put the caption of your post if you want to add a caption that we do know it's, it's a very important step and here it's gonna give you the option to select a channel I already have mine but it's not only Instagram the good thing on Canva is also give you more options to post on. So you don't have to worry. It's not only Instagram. You have Facebook, Twitter, Facebook group, Pinterest. So we have all these options on here. So we're going to go back. Let's see. I'm going to keep just mine. And you see, it's going to still give me, give me the option. So we're going to make the same. There. And then we're going to make and click in schedule. There we go. It's gonna prepare our design, which is gonna wait a few seconds. There we go. So it's gonna be scheduled for 8th of March. And there we go. Here, it's gonna send you directly to Content Planner. So you can see it's already scheduled. So this one is gonna change when it's post. And you see, you can still change it, you know? And then you, you just put it, and here we go. So we leave it there, and then we see. Here is our post. 
Also to get to this part of the Canva, I'm just gonna show you, let's see, we're gonna go to the home page and I don't know how to get to the content planner. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to apps and then on here you can see that it's gonna show you the content planner. So we're just gonna go to March because it's there all post. So here is it, 8th of March. And that's it. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon in other videos.